Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to review a fragrance from the House of Hermes. So on today's video, I have a fragrance from the House of Hermes, and this is part of their mainstream collection, and this is going to be a women's fragrance. If you're looking for a male fragrance, I'm sorry, this is not the video for you. But this fragrance itself is part of the Twilly family. If you don't know what a Twilly is, it's those kind of like mini scarves that are made out of silk that are put on the handles of like the Birkin bags, the Kellys, the Constance. It's kind of a decorative little thing that they do for their handbags itself. Hermes was really kind enough to send us a sample. Very generous. It's not a full bottle. It's just a sample. And this is what it comes in. The box looks identical to this, by the way. So if you're interested in what the box looks like for the Twilly fragrance, it does look just like this. And the one that we have here today is called Tutti Twilly d'Hermes. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of cute, I guess. This is what the bottle looks like. And I don't know, you tell me, do you like the design of the Hermes fragrances in their regular standard line or do you not? Uh, for me, it's just, it's, it's cute. It serves its purpose. It kind of fits into the rest of the Hermes collection, the lid itself, except this one does have a nice little bow on it. And this is going to be a silk bow that they have done here. It's kind of colorful as well, kind of playful. And yeah, so they gave us some information on this fragrance here. And here's what the sample looks like. I mean, if you're interested, I don't know who would be interested in seeing what the sample looks like. This is 0.06 fluid ounces. So not that much juice, but it's just enough to test out the fragrance and to check out and assess to see if the fragrance actually wears well, what it smells like, if it stinks, if it's gray, if it's grandiose, if it's groundbreaking, or if it's none of those things above. So Let's get into it to see what this fragrance is like. Launched in 2023, this was launched last year. It's still a new release technically for the House of Hermes, which is kind of different because Hermes doesn't really pump out fragrances like other fragrance houses do. They typically take their time with things and they, you know, really like to assess and create very nice, soft, supple fragrances. That's kind of what they're known for. Now, the Twilly family is more of a, I would say, a sweet-ish type of fragrance line. It's not going to be something that you're going to be able to say is groundbreaking or it has depth and lots of character. Uh, it has lots of personality. It's just going to be a fragrance that overall is going to be likable. That's going to be something that's easy to pick up and spray on and go anywhere with. And this fragrance kind of fits into that actual range itself. But this scent, it reminds me almost exactly to Miu Miu's Eau de Parfum. It has the same opening, which is going to be very sharp, kind of synthetic-y. Uh, and then it dries down to have like this powdery consistency through the entire dry down of the fragrance itself. This fragrance does contain che, I think that's how you say it. It also contains ginger flower and musk. So the musk in here is definitely very sharp in contrast with that beautiful fruity element of the fragrance itself. Then you get that very nice ginger flower in here as well. And overall, the fragrance is very likable. It's appealing. It's fresh. It's happy. It's vibrant. I think that's what they were going for with this fragrance itself. It's a fragrance that definitely captures the spirit of Hermes, at least those little twillies, because those are typically colorful. They're playful. They're not as serious as like the rest of the Hermes family is. So Hermes in fashion is very serious. Hermes, when it comes to bags, they're very serious. Hermes typically is a serious brand. They're timeless, they're classic, but they're serious. And this fragrance itself is not necessarily taking itself a little too seriously. It's a playful person. It's not overly playful, so it's not going to come out as a clown fragrance. Now, the price point for this fragrance is a little steep. It's Hermes, though. I think we're kind of used to Hermes being a little bit higher of a price point. It is an eau de parfum, so you do get the eau de parfum concentration with this fragrance. But if you get a 30 ml or one ounce bottle, it's going to cost you a whopping hundred dollars. And that's pretty high for a fragrance, at least for a one ounce bottle. That's literally the smallest size you can get unless you decide to buy a travel size or a pocket spray or purse spray. Then they also offer a 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounces for $128. So literally for $28, you get 0 0.7 fluid ounces more. Not necessarily a full ounce, but a little bit more than what the, you know, base one is going to cost. And if you decide to get the large one, which it's a very odd size, it's a 2.87 ounce bottle or 85 mils for the whopping cost of 155 US dollars. Now, 
This is not 100 mils or the standard 3.4 fluid ounce size. That is, you know, typically the large size fragrance. This is, like I said, a 2.87, so not even a full three ounces. It's kind of unusual because typically brands will go for either 75 mils or they'll go for 100 mils. This one decided to go, or sometimes even they do 90 mils. This one did 85 mils. Not sure what that's Now this fragrance does capture the essence of these silk twillies of Hermes. It's like I said, playful, colorful, vibrant. It's very lightweight in its, you know, composition overall. It's not going to be a fragrance that's going to have a lot of depth into it. A lot of, you know, deeper elements such as sandalwoods or, you know, cedar wood or like platinum. Things like that that are going to make this fragrance, you know, heavy and deeper. It's not going to have. It's going to be an overall light fragrance. It's going to be very likable. With that being said, it kind of falls in the unoriginal territory for my taste, at least for Hermes, because Hermes has created some very beautiful fragrances. They are really, really good at creating something that's soft and delicate, yet, you know, very original and elegant and timeless and effortless. And this fragrance, it is effortless, but it's not timeless. It's a fragrance that's currently in its trend it's in its niche currently everyone's gonna like it it's gonna sell a lot but is this a fragrance that we'll see you know within 10 to 15 years and say wow that was a groundbreaking moment and it was a fragrance that really 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 disturbed and disrupted the actual fragrance fragrance industry probably not now the cool thing about this fragrance is that you can find it on discounters so i'm not you know sponsored by any of them but joma shop i did see had it for $63.99 and I think that is for a 50 ml or 1.7 ounce bottle so you can save some money obviously instead of $128.99 it is going to be $63.99 so you save some coin there if you're wanting to try this fragrance definitely do so it is like I said going to be a really cool fragrance when it comes to the spring summer months to come because it's light it's refreshing but it can be synthetic -y. and if you are able or you do own Prada's Miu Miu de Eau de Parfum, the original one, I would say to, you know, kind of disregard this fragrance because they're very similar when they open. And even in the dry down, you still get remnants of Miu Miu's de Eau de Parfum. So that's just my opinion. I mean, it might be smelling something different here, but they smell very similar to me. I don't know why you would need both of them. So let me know down in the comments what your thoughts on Tutu Twilly are. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Have you tried any of the Twilly fragrances? Let me know down in the comments. Also, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more fragrance-related content. Until next time, take care. Bye.